So this week I'm using Adobe Spark to teach you a lesson about Australian Aboriginal art. Where is Australia? Australia is a country that's on the opposite side of the planet from us. It's in the bottom right hand side of our map. If we were to fly to Australia from the United Kingdom, it would take almost 19 hours. That's the best part of a day. And who are the Australian Aboriginals? The Australian Aboriginal people were the first people to populate Australia. This was up to 80,000 years ago. And of course, we're looking at Australian Aboriginal art. 20,000 year old cave paintings have been found in Australia, painted by the Australian Aboriginals. They are some of the world's first artists. Concentric circles represent many meanings in Aboriginal art though often they share a specific site, waterhole or meeting place. Australian Aboriginal art today. Our artist is called Shanai Kellett. Shanai Kellett is a contemporary artist who is inspired by Australian Aboriginal art. Can you see any similarities between the traditional Aboriginal art and her art? Look at the shapes and look at the patterns. What are we making today? Today we are making a spotty circle painting inspired by Shanai Kellett and traditional Aboriginal art. What resources will you need? Well, I've used pencil, paper, and acrylic paint, so any sort of liquid thick paint will do, and watercolours as well. For your paint, you'll also need water in a cup and a paintbrush. You're going to start by drawing three different circles one large circle in the centre of your piece of paper and two smaller circles on the top and one on the bottom. When you've drawn your circles you need to draw two curved lines, one underneath the first circle and one on top of the second circle. Those are the smaller circles. Then you'll need to draw two more curved lines on top of your original ones. We can see that they both go slightly underneath so they disappear behind the larger circle in the centre. Then get your watercolour paints ready. Pick a colour, I picked orange, and colour in your top smaller circles and use it to make your curved lines bolder. I then picked another colour that was blue and I coloured my large circle in the centre blue as well as the backgrounds behind the smaller circles. I then chose to put my smaller circle on top and paint that light blue. Paint the inside of the two lines black and then paint a black outline around the outside of your larger circle. Then I've picked white paint to draw tiny little dots all around the outside and in the centre of my large circle. I then painted dots around the outside and the inside of my smaller circles on the top and the bottom. I filled my black lines with small white dots and I also used a variety of different colours to add dots to the inside of my centre circle. 